Hi, in today's video, we are going to go over Harrogate. Harrogate was featured in my area, seven areas of opportunity that could definitely use some tender loving care to get them back to where they were, where to its former glory. Now, Harrogate is in North Philadelphia, so there's definitely opportunities for growth in this area. So stay tuned as we go through what is going on in Harrogate. So here we are in Har Harrogate. I've been saying holiday, but it's Harrogate. Um, <laughs> but here we are. Um, this neighborhood is right, not too far. It's closer to 95. Um, it's right there, not too far from Pear Hill, um, right between Kensington, Port Richmond, Juliet, Julianda, and Beltonville, Frankfurt. Not too far from Huntington Park. So here we go. Uh, it borders East Segley Street, East Segley Avenue. I'm sorry if I'm butchering this stuff. Comes down a block on Frankfurt Avenue, comes over on East Glenwood Avenue, and comes down, it comes down a trolley area, but, but I'll say the next closest area is Collins Street uh, but it's kind of like right here where the um, trial where the train line is and it cuts off at East Allegheny Avenue and then comes up on North 8th Street and right back up to East Segley Avenue okay so okay so in this area it is Right, there is, um, it's right closer to 95. There is, I would say that this, I always used to think that this area was basically Juliana, but it's actually Harrogate, which I did not know. That's interesting. I learned something, you learn something new every day. Um, the, the Market Frankfurt runs right through. The closest, um, train station, subway station is the Allegheny station, um, and this area is pretty small. You have the Walmart Supercenter, uh, Lowe's, and Wawa. You got Home Depot, where there's two, um, and Target, Foreman Mills, Petco, McDonald's. You're not too far from the commercial district of Port Richmond. You're not, you're literally like right there. So, and Port Richmond, that's, that's um, the Aramingo Avenue is where it basically um, is where the commercial district is. Um, so there's big commercial businesses right in this area. Uh, so um, there is Frankfurt Avenue where, you know, it's also a business district as well. You have small businesses in this area as well. You have Hallergate Park. You have Heinzman Recreation Center, um, Scanlon, playground and ice rink and I mean I don't really travel in this area too much but it's I would I don't really know too much about it I just know that it's not too far on the map it's not too far from Port Richmond area um <clears throat> so the houses there's it's definitely denser you have a lot more rural homes as in any part of this of the area there is, you have the, the um, train station right up here. Uh, well, not the train station, the, the train that runs. You have East Tayuga Street, which is a main route um, as well. Um, and you have several places cut, the, the Loom, which is an arts organization. You have Yay Clay, which is an art center. There, there's, I would suspect that there's definitely renovations in this area. And because um, I see that this is not something that you would normally see in, um, in any other neighborhood. Um, but it's actually not too far from Kensington and Port Richmond and Fishtown. So I can see that they're starting to move it up to come up this area. Um, so, 
you have John H. Webster's school. It's closed because of COVID. You have the Harrogate Boxing Club. Um, and yes, and you have Surreal Sound Studios. But uh, obviously this, I don't really know too much about this area, as you can tell. Um, so I'm be more interested to find out, to learning more about this area. I thought I actually knew this area, but it's like where it is. I'm just kind of drawing a blank. So, but yes, there is the Papo's Ice Cold Beer, which is, it says it's an ice cream shop, but it's not as a beer distributor. Um, Tayuga Beverage. You have the Roofing Company. Vintage Beauty Boutique. But and if anything, the most interesting part that I would say about this area is really right around here. And then, but if Hollowgate is basically in between Juliana and... Port Richmond it's just a smaller neighborhood but even then it's like where you can go to get shopping done is really in this commercial district right over here and that's in Port Richmond so you're literally right uh, over across the street where you can really shop and get where you need where you can service get um, service at and then you're not too far from 95 so you can easily hop on 95 to in this and you're right by Betsy Ross. So you could definitely take hop on 95 and get right to Jersey in less than in like probably less than 30 minutes, depending on traffic. And even then, I don't anticipate you taking taking it that long to get there. Um, you have Royal Farms, which is a great which is also like an equivalent to Wawa. Uh, I like royal farms it's it's a alternative um wawa more than likely this wawa is a super wawa where you can get gas from um and then this is an industrial park i shouldn't even say an industrial park but the industrial stuff and then there because right here along the river is is basically where there is a lot of industrial industries right here, all around here. So if you're looking from 95, you'll see a lot of factories, a lot of hard machinery, um, and and that's just where they do all the waste management, the sanitation centers right here. Um, you have the buses right here, fill a port, the Port of Philadelphia is right there, the Tioga Main Terminal. Um, and further up, you have the Frankfurt Boat Launch. Uh, so it's not that far. Um, and even though, but yes, even this area, it could definitely have some opportunity. If anything, you're not too far from where everything else is. So, I'm, so I would anticipate that there will be more opportunities more renovations home prices would definitely go up in this area because you're so close to Kensington and Port Richmond where the commercial center where the commercial district is and it would boost those home prices up so that is Harrogate